another soul scarring, nerve shredding episode of Edge Lords, the show where we cut deep into the most unholy and badass beings that have ever crawled out of the afterbirth of the Mother of Oblivion. As many of you know, I am Ashen, the Vioblader, and on this week's episode, we will. Oh wait, this is this is embarrassing. Um, g- give me a sec. Yeah, hi, mom. Yeah, yeah, they, re- they really like the show. Yeah, thanks. Th- thanks. Okay. All right, well, mom. Okay. G- got, got. Yeah, gotta go now. Okay. Love you too. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Ah yes, the hunk of meat we have on the butcher's block today is one of the coolest, darkest, and most deadly in the entire known universe, and uh... Wait, he couldn't make it? Okay, okay, in a future episode then? Uh, very well, then let's talk about Shadow the Goddamn Hedgehog instead! This self-proclaimed ultimate life form may not look like your typical edgelord. I mean, there's this cute little fluffy tums on there, uh, big cartoony eyes. I mean, they should be squinty as shit. And he needs, like, saw blades coming out of his feet and, and be able to shoot acid from, like, an orifice or, like, a weird, more soupy little pouch or something. But before I, I get too hasty, let's just take a look online, shall we? I need... I need to edge up on him. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, uh-huh. Okay, okay, all right. There, there's more than enough for us to work with here. Yeah, very well then. Shadow the Porcupine, do you still have the edge? Shadow first burst from the womb in the 2001 video game Sonic Adventure 2 and was pegged as a rival for the blue goody two-shoes aardvark. Which is weird because I thought Sonic had like this guy and that rat, this this thing, or, or this guy is his rival. Nevertheless, they needed to kick up the edge. As Shadow was intended to be a darker, mirror image of Sonic himself, and had no master, but served the only one a good edge lord should himself. His actual gorgon was only touched upon in his first electronic outing, and it wasn't until 2005 where Shadow was deemed worthy to get his own blood soaked adventure in the form of Shadow the Hedgehog. The mind palace of this anthropomorphic anti-hero was played open for all to see, in which it is revealed that Shadow is genetically created as a cure to a horrible disease. Ah, uh, the, the madman behind this diabolical slight against God, uh, Gerald Robotnik. A kindly inventor who wanted to save his granddaughter from the aforementioned disease? Her and Shadow become best friends? Well, what is this? No, this isn't right at all. Sh- Shadow, you are teetering dangerously close to the... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. No. Oh, wait. No, here it is. Sh- sh- Shadow was deemed too dangerous, so the government sent in a kill squad to eliminate him. And the little girl thing got killed in the crossfire? Yeah, now we're talking. Shadow was placed in suspended animation for like 50 years, seething with rage over the death of uh, what's her face? Maria. 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 Then another Eggman revives Shadow from his slumber in the hopes he'd do his bidding. But the only thing that preserves better than the hedgehog flesh is not giving a shit. Shadow Pledge had killed the entire world for what it had taken from him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I gotta stop there. Yeah, big, big smiley sticker on your file there, Shadow. This stuff is Edge Prime. 
Unfortunately, Sonic and his sh shitty friends talk Shadow down from this awesome path of vengeance. But this is only the lead-in to the in-game events of Shadow's own title. He then encounters a group of aliens called the Black Arms. So, okay, that's good, but they're probably led by, oh, let me guess that Humpty Dumpty guy? Wait. Way to Black Doom! Oh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have me some of that! Black Goddamn Doom then tantalizes Shadow with more insight to his past. So the Edge Hog cuts a bloody swath through his ranks until he finds out that friendly old Jerry Robotnik created Shadow by using Black Doom's own blood as a blueprint. Finding out you are birthed from your own enemy? Shadow, allow me to give you a polite and dignified golf clap. No, no, wait, that's that's not a gin. I'm a baby skull golf clap. If you are an inspiring edgelord and want a strong origin, start taking notes, maggots. It's a weird celestial alignment where you'll find our two previous inductees into the Edutorium, Spawn, and uh, Chapel. Share a common bond with Shadow here. But, well, here we are. All three are adept at the shoot bangs, with Al and Jim having gone through extensive training with the military. While Shadow is self-taught, it's not exactly clear, but the little guy wields firearms like he was born with them lodged into his manimal paws, which might be true, but I don't know. In reality, the uh, unique fandom of the Sonic games have been asking the development team to finally give Sonic a gun? And while I'm a fan of making a thing a more dangerous thing, um, no, no, stop, no. But instead, they smartly decide to give in to this demand in another way, by allowing Shadow to go whole hog. <laughs> <laughs> by filling this game with veritable arsenal of deadly, high-velocity weapons. Oh, bravo! In terms of his raw physical powers, however, Shadow unfortunately is shackled down to Sonic for the most part, with some key and thankfully far more edgy differences. Yeah, he can roll into a ball thing and hit robots, but while Sonic claims to be the fastest thing alive, oh, what's this? Hey, hey, liar. If you're so fast, how come Shadow is using his cool boot slat sneaker things, booters, snooks, to keep up with you? Yes, Shadow strikes with the quickness. It can keep up with almost anything thanks to his little snookers. You have the reflexes of a panther. Is that an insult? I thought panthers were fast. Maybe compared to you. The Chaos Emeralds are the Sonic versus overused MacGuffins, but fortunately they interact with Shadow in a unique way. While various Archie comics of oh, Jesus, we're talking about Archie comics here on Edge Lords, and spin-off games have presented this power differently. At its core, Shadow wields pure chaos itself. It can manifest this power into hand-to-hand -hand combat, allowing him to command explosive energy with the snap of his fingers to throwing bolts of lightning called Chaos Spear. Having a Chaos Emerald amplifies these powers even further. Chaos Blast allows him to unleash his pent up rage, devastating anything in his vicinity. But his signature move, Chaos Control, allows Shadow to manipulate time and space, allowing him to warp himself and any other form of matter to different locations. Not only that, but Shadow enslaves time itself to do his bidding and can slow it down or stop it dead in its tracks. Controlling time rules, and there's never any repercussions to doing so. Also, this, uh, this just came across my desk. Yes, Shadow is also ageless and immortal. Oh, lots of time to hone your edge when you have all the time. In addition to all of that, if all seven anarchy gems are collected, he becomes Super Shadow. Yeah, but 
basically just supersonic, but we had we had to mention it. Super Shadow is nigh invulnerable, can fly, yada bada wada. Eh, he looks okay, uh, but he's losing it here. I think he can wait, wait here with my skills of an artist. I think we can all agree this is a much better look. Yeah. Okay, so Shadow can control the goddamn time stream in your face to Haka. Is fast as crap, can teleport to doozy, study the blade, harness the power of pure chaos, and best of all, can roll into a little ball. Initially judging his physical form, I wasn't expecting much, but all this stuff is sick, and besides, we leave judgment to the very end. The creation of Shadow seems like a reactionary and tired attempt to make an edgy counterpart to a franchise quickly running out of ideas. And you know what? It was. I mean, come on. Like 100%. But while a lesser game world or universe might have quickly seen such a character get casted off to the wayside, Shadow has remained surprisingly popular since its creation in 2001 and since appeared in pretty much every Sonic game, comic, manga, anime, and hentai ever since. Now, with a Sonic the Hedgehog movie happening soon, it remains to be seen if Shadow can again come out from the shadow of his blue rival once more, like a small, dark, hedgehog-shaped chest burster. As for right now, there's been no confirmation of the ultimate life form appearing in this motion picture, so we'll have to whittle our sharpened, blood-encrusted fingers until then. It's a testament to the appeal of this anarchist anti-hero that he's lasted this long, unlike, say, um, who's a good example of a platforming edgelord? Max? What? Tracks? Vax? Who? Who is this emperor of edge? Whoa! Oh, d d plated talents. A dark backstory where his entire family village are murdered to death? Edgy ad campaign with tribal makeup and tattoos? Wait, wait, hold on, I wasn't aware of this guy. Uh, oh, we only have one spot in the Edgitorium this week. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I, I apologize. This has thrown me for a loop. Oh, okay, so, uh, you have both worked really hard to get here. Shadow and a uh, new guy, but there can only be one winner. So one of you will be staying, and one of you will be going. The winner is... Edgelords will be right back. And now, back to Edgelords. And the winner is... It's still Shadow. <laughs> Sorry, new guy. But the fact I've never heard of you, you had one game and faded into obscure, I didn't, I, unfortunately, means you have lost the edge. Now, sachet away. Okay, yes, yes. Little guy, you go right over there. There you go. Great. The ultimate life form, now housed in our dark and stinky halls. Edgelicious. So, if you know of any other lords or lordesses that would love nothing more to sit upon a throne of blood and bone, write a comment below and ring the fucking bell or whatever it is you gotta do. Or send an email to mattmcmuscles at gmail.com. I am, of course, Ashen the Vile Blader. And I spit in your goddamn face. Uh, thanks for watching. One step forward, two step back. I'm here. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Can you see all of me? Walk into my mystery. Step inside the world.
threw up there.